So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys another modded outfit from the outfit transfer glitch. So remember that with the outfit transfer glitch, you do lose all your outfits except for only one. So before you do the glitch, just go ahead and equip the outfit that you don't want to lose. Also, go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. It doesn't matter which earpiece you buy, just go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. Once you're ready to start the glitch, just go ahead and make your way over to the clothing store. Go ahead and put your spawn location on your last location. And hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character so once again remember you are going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you do the glitch just equip the outfit that you don't want to lose and just come to the clothing store put your spawn location on last location and um go into swap character and this outfit is only going to be for a male character so you have to main a male character if you want to do the outfit So when you get in here, all you want to do is just go over to your second character and it's either going to say edit or delete. If it says delete on your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character. After you delete your second character, two new characters are going to come in and from there you're going to see the edit option under your second character. But once you see the edit option under your second character, just go ahead and hit edit. And when your second character is gone, you're going to get this alert screen right here that's going to ask you if you want to copy your stuff over, you just want to go ahead and accept it. After you accept it and your second character comes in here, you just want to go ahead and change your second character into a female if it ended up being a male. But if it's already a female, just go ahead and leave it as a female, go ahead and save it, continue, go ahead and make a um, random name for it. And after you make the name for it and you take the picture and it's loading, it may or may not play the casino DLC trailer. Whether it plays it or not, it's not going to affect the glitch. You're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session. So for me, it's not going to play it, but for some of you guys, it may play it. But like I said, whether it plays it or not, it's not going to affect the glitch. You're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session. Also, one more thing. Um, when I spawn in, my female character is going to look a little bit different from what you guys just saw because that first part was when I was recording the um, first outfit. But the first outfit, I didn't like it, so I ended up just doing it again. So... Like I said, my female character is going to look a little bit different from what you guys just saw because I had to record the video again. So when you guys load inside of your new session, all you want to do is just go ahead and open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. If you do see the clothing stores in your session, just go ahead and make your way over to any of the clothing stores, it doesn't matter. But if you don't see any clothing stores in your session, all you have to do is just go ahead and find a new session or just switch Jeez. sessions and then the clothing stores are going to be inside of your new session. So if you don't see any clothing stores, just switch sessions like I said and then the clothing stores are going to be inside of your new session but if you do see the clothing stores just go ahead and make your way over to the nearest clothing store so when you do make your way inside of the clothing store first you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the top section what? go to the biker cuts and purchase the patched darted vest so just come over here to the top section go to biker cuts and purchase the patched darted vest so this right here just go ahead and buy that after you have that, just go ahead and back out. You want to stay in the top section, go to Tucked T-Shirts, and buy the blue digital T-Shirt, which should be number 75, I'm pretty sure. So just come to the Tucked T-Shirts and purchase the blue digital T-Shirt. So this T-Shirt right here, just go ahead and buy that. After you have that, just go ahead and back out. Make your way to the pants section. Go to Utility Pants and purchase the black battle pants. So just come to the pants section. Go to utility Shower, pants and purchase the black battle pants. Cool. Once you have that, just go ahead and make your way over to the accessories. And first, you want to go to your earrings because some female characters do spawn in by default with earrings. So if your female character has earrings on, just go ahead and take off the earrings that you have on your female character. Once you take off your earrings, just go ahead and make your way down to the gloves and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves, which should be number four. So just come to the gloves and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves. Once you have the Lightwood Land Tactical Gloves, just go ahead and come save this outfit. 
remember when you save the outfit you want to save it in an empty slot that's on your main character so let's say for me i saved the um my outfit with the white joggers in slot 20 so i'll just save this outfit inside of a different slot so just save it in the empty slot that's on your main character so once you save the outfit just go ahead and back out make your way to the top section go to leather jackets and purchase the blue cropped biker which should be towards the bottom so just come over to the top section go to leather jackets and purchase the blue cropped biker so this one right here just go ahead and buy that after you have this just go ahead and back out you want to go to tuck t-shirts and purchase the red guffy roll t so just go to the um, tuck t-shirts and purchase the red guffy rolled t so this one right here you just want to go ahead and purchase this okay. after you have that just go ahead and back out make your way over to the pants section go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants so just come over here to the um, pants section go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants which should be the first one so just go ahead and buy them after you have that just go ahead and back out make your way over to the um, shoe section go to the boots and purchase the venom tech boots so just come over here to the shoe section go to the boots and purchase the venom tech boots So after you buy them, you just want to go ahead and uh, back out of that. And now you just want to go ahead and come save the outfit. And when you save it, just go ahead and save it right underneath of the first outfit that you made. So in total, you're going to have two outfits. So just come save this right underneath of the first outfit that you made. Once you save it, just hit B, go to standard outfits and purchase the Chica outfit. Just go ahead and purchase the Chica outfit and after you have that, just go ahead and back out, hit your pause button, go to online and go inside of creator. So this part right here, I think I was just responding back to what my friend said. So don't worry about what I'm doing right here. All you have to do after you buy the Chica outfit is just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online and go inside of creator. Once you're inside of creator, go ahead and click on create a race and then click on land race. When you get loaded in, just go ahead and click on race details, go ahead and fill out the title and the description. You don't have to be anything specific, just go ahead and put in random stuff on it. And then go ahead and take the photo and then put the maximum players on two and then put the root type on point to point. After you got that, just hit your pause button and warp over to the airport. When you get to the airport, just go ahead and hit B and then go to placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place down the trigger and then click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it and then back out of that, click on checkpoints. Now when you're making the race, it has to be only 0.62 miles or longer. So just go ahead and make the race 0.62 miles or longer. After you've made the race 0.62 miles or longer, just hit B twice and it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you just want to go ahead and test it out. So after you finish the race, you're gonna get this completed alert. You just wanna go ahead and accept it. After you accept it and you load in, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, and go inside of choose character.
so when you get in here all you want to do is just go over to your second character and you're going to delete her so make sure you go over to your second character you don't want to delete your main character by accident make sure you go over to your second character and just hit delete on her it's going to ask you to type in delete to confirm it you just want to go ahead and do that after you delete your second character two new characters are going to come in and from here all you want to do is just go ahead and hit b so you get taken inside of single player so when these two new characters come in just hit b so the game takes you inside of single player So after you get loaded inside of single player, all you want to do is just go ahead and hit your pause button and go to online, go to play GT online, and just go inside of an invite only session. So all you are doing in single player is just going inside of an invite only session. So when you get loaded inside of your online session, all you want to do is just go ahead and come save the outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. So just go ahead and come save the outfit that you? you didn't want to lose. And when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't mess up when you're trying to merge your other outfits. You won't find those anywhere else. After you're done saving your outfit that you didn't want to lose, just go ahead and make your way over to the top section. Go to racing jerseys and purchase the downhill motocross racing jerseys. So just come to top section go to racing jerseys and purchase the downhill motocross racing jersey so after you buy the downhill motocross racing jersey just go ahead and back out hit your pause button go to online go to jobs play job rockstar created go to versus and start up crooked cops when you start up crooked cops make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either one friend or one random to join so if you don't put the clothing on player owned the glitch will not work so make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either one friend or one random to join. So when you get in here, all you're gonna do is just go to owned outfits and hit right on the D-pad twice. So just go to owned outfits, hit right on the D-pad twice and you're gonna have this exact same outfit right here. From here, all you wanna do is just go ahead and ready up. So when you get loaded inside of the job or the mission, all you want to do is just go ahead and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece. It doesn't matter which one you put on, just put on a rebreather or an earpiece. After that, just go ahead and open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. When you get loaded inside of your session, all you have to do is just go ahead and come save the outfit. And when you save the outfit, it's yours and you get to keep it. And after you save it, just go ahead and delete the two components since you don't need them anymore because you already got the outfit. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like on it. Share it, subscribe if you already haven't. And don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on further videos. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here?